in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this Halloween devil makeup look. So if you want to see how I created this then just keep on watching. So I don't know why but we lost, well I don't know why my Mac wasn't on, we have lost the voicing but basically I was just going over my brow with my Anastasia brow pomade in chocolate then I was cleaning my brows and putting a base down for my shadows which was the P. Louise Basing shade 2. I just used a flat concealer brush from Amazon. Now. Uh, oh, and then I used a fluffy brush just with nothing on it just to pat that down to set. Now I'm dipping into the oh Jacqueline Hill palette and this red burnt orange shade on a Morphe M506. And I'm just whacking that up, patting it on, and then blending it like so. Now I'm dipping into this individual eyeshadow, Sugar Pill Pro Eyeshadow Pan in the shade is it Love Plus. Pretty sure it's Love Plus. It's this beautiful red shade and it's so good and pigmented. I'm sure it's Love Plus. I guess we'll never know. So another Morphe M506. Just dip it into that shade and then going right over the top of that burnt, warm, orangey, really shade. Back into the orangey burnty shade. Now on a Morphe M507, I am dipping into this plum shade here. Just taking that in the crease, patting it for and then blending. Then 
back into the burnt orangey shade. Then Love Plus. Now, with this little bullet brush, I'm going to dip in these two brown shades here. So you've got that sort of chocolatey brown there, and then a more of a charcoaly brown here. So we'll do chocolate brown first. Remember to pat it on, then blend it. Now these are just going to help me gradually get to that black shade, just so it's blended down seamlessly. Now into the charcoal brown. Now back into the red shades. Now we're going to blend those edges with this yellow shade here. On a Morphe M506, a different one, of course. So we've still got quite a bit of blending, a bit more blending through shades to do here to work up to like this just gradually getting higher and higher as well. You don't want to just, well, I mean, it's up to you, but I don't trust myself going straight into the higher shade. I'd rather start um, low and then work my way up. Burnt orangey ready shade. And higher. And then that bright red shade, Love Plus. Now the yellow shade to blend with edges. I'm going to take that little bullet brush again and I'm going to dip into this black shade in the bottom corner and then dot in that crease and blend. And again, dab into that. Dot the colour on and blend. Right now, I'm going to grab this P. Louise base. What's it called? Bada black, bada black. But this is this all black eyeshadow base, and it's really good to pack on a black eyeshadow, as you can see. And now you can watch. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of that onto the back of my hand. Tiny little bit, don't need a lot. These these are really pigmented and really thick and creamy. Right, so I'm using this Sigma E58 brush. It's a flat concealer brush. I'm just gonna pat into there. 
had work that on all over the crease at the crease the lid up to the crease I think is what I was trying to do give that a little wipe take some of the tackiness off dry it on my pajama bottoms because I'm a mink where is she? I'm going to dip into the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette and I'm going to be using this black shade on the lid. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's called Executioner. It's got this beautiful purple sparkliness to it and it looks so lovely. So I'm just going to dip into there. Make sure my brush isn't too damp. And whack that on the lid like so and because these bases are like so pigmented and so like they, they're a bit tacky it just like the shade just sticks to it and it's just beautiful and very nice I love it like look at that beautiful now I'm gonna go back into this black shade now and I'm just gonna blend the edges, pattern that on and then blend in like so. Now back into the plum shade. Then red, warm bricky red shade. Then bloodlust. Then yellow. No, oh, he's funny. Oh, bloody! Oh, there we are. Hello. So, um, another cheap Amazon brush, but it's just a flat detail. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest with you. A brush. I am dipping into this brown shade here, and then black on the waterline. So we'll do the brown shade first. Just in there. And again. Oh, I'll best clean that up actually. Just clean this a little bit away. Better. No black. Nice. Thank you for sharing that with me, son. On the Morphe M507, I'm just dipping into the plum shade. That one. And just blending right under there burnt orangey ready shade then the bright red one the plus I'm going to use some of the Bada Black base now just to put on my waterline. Pop that there. I've got an actual paintbrush right now for this bit. So I'm just dabbing my little paintbrush in there very lightly. Popping that right there. Just 
Then I'm going to dip into that black eyeshadow just to set it. Just a little dab. Now I'm going to grab that flat brush again and just go over the black on this side because it's not very there. Right, so I'm going to go back into the plum shade with the Morphe M507. Right on the black. Kind of blend these blacks together so it doesn't look so weird. Back into burgundy. Blend them together in the corner, upper corner. Okay. Then my burnt orangey red. Down underneath. Then the red. Back into the black. That was plump, sorry. Now the burnt orange. Now the red. And then yellow. Oops, a little bit more of the purpley black. And curl the lashes. Curl the lashes. All of the lights highlighter. Taking that on my little detail brush and applying that to my inner corners and my brow bone. Now mascara. I call London's for waterproof mascara. Right, so these are my horns. I'm not happy with them. I think they're shit. Like, I just wanted to get little horns that I could stick on and then make, like, the skin bit myself. I just think that they look shit. <laughs> so, I don't know what my plan is. Because I've got scar wax. I was hoping to just glue some horns on and spread out some scar wax. But now I've got all these rigidy bits that are in it. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Could I make that look alright if I put some blood on it? Or will it look shit? Decisions. Right, well I'm just gonna cut around it just now to see what I can do. I've got these scissors of blunt. It's a good start. I couldn't find like any online either, which is a nightmare. 
to be honest, I think it was like £12 for these, which is quite annoying because it's just shit. Then if I cut this bit off, how do I stick the horn on? I don't know. Next. Right. I think we're going to glue these on now. So, I have got my Pro-Z body glue and my nice fresh little wedge sponge. I've got my little devil horns here. So I don't know, I'm going to add the glue to these. Ah, I'm going to put the glue on these, stick them like that, so I've got some on my head. Yeah, that's my plan. I'll do one at a time, obviously. And then add more to both areas, if that makes any sense. So, just put some glue on there. You want to stay in there because I want to keep you for. I want you about there. And then I take it off. Right, perfect. And then blow dry that so it gets tacky. Oh, yeah, one at a time. Put a little bit more on here. Blow dry my head and the prosthetic. That's what these are called, Lucy Lou, you silly budding. No, I don't like it. Right. Let's try that again. Scar wax. So I've got Ben Nye nose and scar wax. So what I'm going to do is put that around the horns and create like a skin like effect myself because this is not it. So I've got my little spatula here to scoop out some wax. So I don't really know which I'll need to be honest. I think they're going to need it quite thick. Mm.
some Vaseline on here to just makes it easier to work with. It stops it from like sticking to you and you can shape it and manipulate it more. Right, I think that horn is good. We've not really spoke much, oh, concentration. I think it's because it's late and I'm tired. But yeah, that one looks pretty good. Hopefully we can blend that into the skin more when we put foundation on. Right, now we want to start smearing down onto my skin. Why have I got such a little small forehead? <laughs> an inconvenience with this kind of thing. Gonna smooth those edges out now, and then we'll put latex on the top. So I'm just putting the latex all over the edges just to glue things down in place. Right, now let's go for a little blow dry. Lovely. Right, I'm just gonna clean my forehead up a little bit. Things are looking a little crazy.
lips are a bit dry. Let's moisturise them. Mm, beautiful. So for foundation, I am using Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Ecru. Three sponges here. I'll use this little patella brush. So there she is. I'm going to have to take a couple of pumps in the back of my hand. And just work that around everything. And blend. So I'm just applying the foundation with this little brush and then blending it in with the beauty blender. Now we want to conceal some tart shape tape in the shade Fair Neutral. A little bit there, a little bit there, here, here, and here. And Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Just beside everywhere I put that. And let's blend it in. Blend everything in nice and seamlessly. I'm just going to go back over those edges with some more Vaseline. Smooth down nicely. A little bit of powder. I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. Is it a new one? Oh, that'll do it. Right. Take some of that under the eyes. Lightly dusting it over my face now. Just gonna contour my cheeks. Got the Hula Light Bronzer. And I'm going to take her on. Um Morphe M437. Just gonna whack that here. Now, I'm going to grab the Hula Benefit bronzer in original and I'm going to take the little kabuki brush it comes with and dab that on the side and just swipe that in the high points and then lightly work down. And then just a little bit on there and then the same again here. Here we are. I'm going to go back in with that brush with nothing on it and just blend that in. Beautiful. Now blush. I've got this Zaharan Blush Volume 2 palette. Here she is. 
and I'm dipping into these two shades here. One's quite corally and one's quite peachy. So I'm taking that on a Morphe E4. Just going to dip into the first one and apply it. And then the next one. There we are, beautiful. Now this side. And then there. Beautiful. Put a little bit of blush on the nose and the chin because I think it's nice. No, where is that brush? Oh, so I've got this flat brush here. It's a Morphe M459 and it's so good for sharpening up your contour. So with my little thingy, can't even English today. I am, uh, you know where that little helix thing is, I think it's called? Just there and then in line with your lip there. You see that? Push it down slightly and then the same on the other side, right there. And push that down. Try to put it back. Make a mess because that's what we do here. So, off for all of the lights. Highlighter. Here's my little brush. Morphe R37. Give it a swirl. Apply highlighter to the high points. Nosy. Cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin, just above the brows. Dust this because we don't want to leave on too long. So, we use this brush here. It's just a cheap, fluffy brush that I've lost. Oh, God. oh now I'm losing eyeshadows. Oh, for God's sake, Lucy. Right. Oh, God. Right. <clears throat> Into this plum shade right here. I'm going to dip into that and apply it all over my scar wax. Because you know this is going to be bruised and such. And the same on this side. Just very lightly patting that on there as well because the scar wax is still quite soft. Right, now that my bruising is on, so I've got my Ben Nye Scab Blood. Oh, ain't she beautiful? So, I'm just going to dip her in there and poke her in. Right. I'm just kind of like twirling that in so it kind of goes in a bit. If that made any sense. Beautiful. Now I'm going to get it on the edges. Lovely. Now I would like to grab a stippling sponge and get some of my thick blood. Just dip it in there and create like splatters. You know, 
blood will just spill out everywhere, won't it? These have just grown out my head. I'm gonna have blood splats. Leave the scab blood out because I want to do something with that. Juicy lips. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's line the lips. Oh, I'm using Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood um, lip pencil. Right, let's clean this because this is not going to plan. Okay. Alright, lipstick. MAC Cosmetics Viva Glam 1. Right, so now I want my thing. Not talking about. Right. Where's she gone? Put it away. So back into the plum shade. That same brush. I'm gonna do a pentagram. That's my bruise done. Now I want some blood. So here is the cotton ball and I'm going to make it scabby. So I'm just using the stippling sponge now with the thick blood and just creating that splatter effect and then I'm going back in with the plum shade on that fluffy brush just to add more shadowing. I dip into the black. I'm 
And here we are. <laughs> That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Love it. Spooky.